If it's good enough for Kenny Sebastian, it's good enough for me. Hello, welcome to episode 2. And I had asked you guys for questions and you guys delivered. So we will be having those questions over a couple of videos. So if I haven't answered your question in this one, it will probably be in the next one. You guys asked so many good questions and I'm going to answer them as best I can. So let's get right to it. If anything is possible, is it possible for anything to be impossible? Anything is possible, that does not mean everything is possible. So yes, it is possible for something to be impossible. Body count, it's the only option when heads aren't available. <laughs> Why don't you do political videos? <laughs> um, because I can't help not thinking apolitically. If life gave you one chance to redo a mistake of your life, what would that be? Why would I redo a mistake? Like, I wouldn't redo a mistake in my life no matter how many chances I get. <laughs> Give us a three-word story. She slapped him. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because it was Dutch, under 18, and wanted a drink. Get it? Because the border, Belgium, Belgium's thing is under 16, so you crossed over to Belgium to have a drink. Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it. Why does racism exist? Um, because humans do. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Wow, you guys really like chickens. That depends. Is the chicken in question a rooster or a hen? Does this dress make me look fat? Oh, sweetie, yes it does. I'm just kidding. Uh, um, not if you paid good money for it. If it's cheap, yes, yes it does. Please throw it out. Would you press a button if it meant all diseases would be cured forever, but there would be no advance in technology? Um, nope. If there was no technology, there would be no button in the first place. But you're talking about an advance in technology, but then there'd be no further buttons, if you know what I mean. Also, if diseases disappeared, I'm afraid mankind will like overrun this earth with the population because diseases exist to kill people, if you know what I mean. Would you go back and kill Hitler as a baby if you could? Uh, nope. My father says my mother is a descendant of Hitler's family, so I'm afraid that if I kill Hitler, I might also be obliterated. <laughs> what if the world was flat? You mean it isn't? Uh, in all seriousness, this would depend on whether it's flat latitudinally or longitudinally, because if it was flat latitudinally, um, we all know that the Earth is tilted, right? So, as it's tilted like this, no, it's tilted like this, right? Because the further down you go. There would be no concept of day or night. Uh, one side would be constantly exposed to the sun, whereas the other would never get any sun. So that would be a thing, and that would impact. And since that's not happening, world is in flat. And also, if it was flat um, longitudinally, it would be kind of like a disc, like a spinning coin. Sunrises and sunsets would be much uh, shorter and there'll be more exposure to the sun or moon as they'll be on one side for a longer period of time. What if Hitler was alive? Well, we know he would be 131, so he'd either be a vampire, which would explain his thirst for blood, or he'd be hidden in a bunker somewhere wishing for death. How do you come up with such great ideas? And I really like your videos. Thank you so much. It means quite a lot that you said that. But um, I plagiarized for my dreams. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been an absolute pleasure answering your questions. If you have any more, leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get to them for the next videos. And if you haven't subscribed and haven't liked this video, what are you doing? Go get those done now. I'll see you in the next one.